Hi, my name's Random Tuesday, and today I'm going to talk you through your very own Battle Chef cosplay from the Battle Chef Brigade game by Trinket Studios. It's an awesome game. I definitely recommend it if you like Bejeweled or Side Scrollers. Anyway, today we made Mina Han's costume, so I'll talk you through the various different parts of this cosplay. As always, if you'd like more resources or information, head over to my website, randomtuesday.net, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular updates. Ha! I made Mina Han's jacket out of Kona cotton fabric in, uh, I think, Pacific or maybe Royal Blue. The fabric I ended up having to double line, I self-lined it with itself. I wasn't able to find a heavy enough cotton or similar fabric to make it as stable and sturdy on its own. Uh, you might have better luck finding one that is heavy enough without having to layer it or uh, layering it and lining it with a lighter, more lining weight fabric. I used for this whole costume a princess seam pattern. Now you can see here the sort of typical lines going down the center uh, side fronts, I should say, as well as in the side back where I have uh, the lines from the princess seam pattern. To figure out the length, it skims all the way over the hips and then really sits without flaring back underneath at kind of that widest point for me lining up with right along the bottom of my butt. And that's really where it's supposed to be, giving you lots of range of motions. You can do those monster hunting high kicks if you feel so inclined. Now, I wasn't uh, able to find a long enough separating zipper. Um, that would be an alternative to doing what I did as the front closure for this fabric, or jacket, made of fabric. I ended up using a snap tape all along this front seam. So I added a small extra tab, the width of that snap tape, so that when it snaps closed, that center closure line still matches up with the center front of the garment. Now, if you have a zipper, you don't need to add that extra tab, but you do need to make sure it's a separating zipper um, unless you feel like really struggling to get in and out of this costume. The sleeves are a pretty standard sleeve pattern. Uh, and then for here, for the cuffs, these are actually stitched on just around the edge, sort of top stitching around the outside, and then they fold underneath. So they have a nice finished edge when they're folded. They're more or less uh, trapezoids, so rectangles with pointed ends uh, to add that little bit of extra flare. And the flare lines up with the outside uh, back of the elbow so that the points stick out kind of behind you. And that's the same on both sides. The collar is sort of a rectangle which uh, the sides slightly slope inwards. You can adjust those as you needed so that it st sticks up and doesn't tickle your chin too much. That's most of the jacket. The next piece of the jacket is the front panel, which I ended up doing as an entirely separate piece of double layered Kona fabric. And to attach it, it just Velcros with a thin line of Velcro all the way around the outside of both pieces. The panel, as you can see, lines up with the princess seam that go down the center front and then cuts off a couple of inches straight across underneath that collar section. This portion is gonna end up getting covered by her bandana and I have them sort of taper up right at the tip of the bust. Uh, they taper back in just slightly curving, kind of a little bit narrower along this top edge. The bandana is a pretty basic triangle. This is made out of a um, crepe back satin. I used the matte side of the satin that gives it a, just a nice drape to it, but it is fundamentally just a triangle with folded over edges, top stitch down uh, in coordinating thread. The whole thing, in true Boy Scout, Girl Scout style, goes around the front. And then I actually just use an elastic tie to keep it together in the front. Um, I didn't make it long enough to knot it, but because there's a little woggle uh, button badge thing uh, in the front, you just need something that's fairly indiscreet. Or discreet. Discreet, yeah, you want something discreet. The last piece is her sort of badge medallion. This is made out of Sculpey. It's a couple of layers of Sculpey um, that have then been painted with red acrylic and seal sprayed to kind of finish off at the end. I didn't have a pin back, uh, so I ended up gluing a safety pin to the back. Although if you wanna, wanna take that cosplay up a notch, get yourself a real pin back. And this just then uh, safety pins in place to cover up the elastic. Et voila! For her pants, I just wore a pair of black denim jeans. 
And then for her boots, I found a pair of boots that had a heel that I liked and kind of a general toe shape that I liked at a thrift store. I then cut the top section off and uh, recovered it with a sort of fake suede um, camel colored fabric from the fabric store. And then for the top section, I just made this kind of extra long fabric tube. And that's gonna give me the slouchy part when I tuck it in. And that gives me that sort of very slouchy top look that she has in the game. The final portion of her costume is the wig. I used the Celine wig from Epic Cosplay Wigs in black. For the most part, the wig itself is pretty much the right shape. It's got that kind of sloping tapered neckline on the hair or hairline on the neck. Uh, the main thing was the bangs needed to be trimmed up a little bit. And then when I wear it, I just use some hairspray to kind of style it into the little sections that her bang has and just fluff it up a little bit to add some volume and kind of the wind tussled monster fighting look. Thank you so much for watching my Mina Han from Battle Chef Brigade cosplay tutorial video. I hope you found it helpful. Definitely head over to my website, randomtuesday.net for resources and tutorials, including a pattern for this very jacket here. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel for video updates on cosplays and other projects that I'm working on. And definitely check me out live on twitch.tv slash random Tuesday for cosplay and gaming goodness. And lastly, and certainly never leastly, thank you to each and every one of my patrons who helped make this cosplay and this video a reality. Your continued support has been amazing. Thank you. If you can help me out with a small monthly am amount, you can keep videos like this coming and help me make more projects. Thank you so much.